This is Fishy Fell and Dark Leaves Match, the Classic League Match. And um, Fishy Fellow is playing his Mono White Sky Hussar deck, and Dark Leaves has stacks. I'm pretty sure that this is a favorable matchup for Fishy Fellow. Um, he just has a lot of answers for artifacts. Although with stacks, you just never know. They can get out to a really quick start and um, you know not look back. You know, an early load stone followed by a tangle wire could spell a good game. So let's see how it goes. Um, Fishy Pillow did win the the die roll, which is huge. Going first just really really helps because stacks. Obviously, they can get an early Chalice or an early Trinisphere, which can just really shut you down. So he leads off with a Chrome Mox. Mother of Runes. Alright, that's a good start for Fishy. He does have to pitch this Mother of Ruins, but um, he's almost uh, spearing Dark Leaves with uh, his stack stack. And it is a Wasteland, which is also powerful, because Dark Leaves has to think about playing um, a Workshop just knowing they could get Wasteland the next turn anyhow. Depending what type of lands he has in hand. So, we don't know if he had a workshop, and maybe that was if he was debating playing it, but he decided to kill the Wasteland. Let's see what fish he can follow up here on turn two with. <clears throat> Getting an attack in first. So Fishy has a lot of creatures that do things like remove artifacts, remove enchantments, remove creatures. I'm assuming he has another land, but he might be thinking about, is it worth him playing a creature that um, removes an artifact, removing his own or not removing any, or should he wait for Dark Leaves to play something so he can remove Dark Leaves' plays? My assumption is that's what's going through his mind right now. Although he hasn't played his next land. Alright, Benevolent Bodyguard. Um, he did not play a land. Interesting. And Dark Leaves did have the Workshop into a Null Rod. Which hurts because um, he can't use Chrome Mox. But Fishfell does have the Sky Hussar, so he is in the draw mode. But without any lands, this is going to get really problematic. He can draw two cards turn with Sky Hussar, but. Uh oh. Yeah. That's a problem. So he went for the draw plan. He probably he probably just needs to get a uh, a 
few lands because he has enough ways of dealing with lodestone if he can pump it out. But with no rod stopping his chrome mocks, I think his cheapest creature is two mana that can exile an artifact. So with lodestone out, he needs to get to three mana. Darkleaf certainly had a nice land package because he was able to wasteland wasteland and still follow up with some pretty good lands. Darksleeve's deck is interesting because he runs four cavern of souls. I'm pretty sure is what I saw. Let me just double check that. Yes, four ca or three cavern of souls, four um, factories. Five. Maybe there's a precursor golem. Ooh, a tangler. Ouch, into a Tolarian. Yeah, that's good game. There's not a lot, that was just a, an insane draw that Dark Leaves had. There was not much Fishy Fellow could do, especially with him being land, a little land screwed. Yeah, it's not looking good. I don't see really any way out of out for Fishy here. It's gonna be taking ten damage. And let's see, maybe even another creature comes out with Talarian. Sphere of Resistance. Thorns do absolutely nothing for Fishy. Too Fishy. So those will get sideboarded out. Alright, well that's game one. I will start back up on game two. Alrighty, so here is game two. Fishy will get to go again. Go again first. Or go first again, I should say. Had to mulligan. That is not a good start. Let's see, well, Dark Leaves did too, so uh, it's down to six. Fishy stayed at six. Let's see, and Dark Leaves stayed at six. All right. So they both had bad first starts. Fishy's going to ramp into, let's see, maybe another Thalia.
she's thinking long and hard on what to exile. All right. Yep, again, a turn one Thalia, which is another good start. Fishy might have a Sky who saw her, and so he was debating if he wanted to keep this benevolent bodyguard or not. Just because small one drop creatures are really nice with Sky who saw her, because you can just keep drawing with them and not have to worry too much about tapping. Uh-oh. Dark Leap starts off with a workshop and a soul ring. He might have had a turn on Lodestone that Thalia just stopped, which would have been a... Uh, which will be good for Fishy, especially if he has a Wasteland or some type of way to kill this Workshop next turn. Uh, man, Dark Leaves with another pretty good start, because I'll name Crow Mox. Which will put back Fishy's mana a turn. No, don't tell me Fishy doesn't have any more lands like last game. That would be a bummer. Okay, good. And he does kill the workshop, which is probably the right play. And he can follow up with the Mother of Runes. All right. So it's a uh, that's a pretty good it's turn two for Fishy. See if Dark Leaves has another workshop or some more land. Alright, Cavern of Souls. Dragon. Huh. I think all of his creatures are colorless, actually, so I don't think it matters at all. No, well, I guess it does. I'll take that back because uh, this makes it uncounterable. But it doesn't matter anyway because Fish Shells has no counter spells, so. Promo Ratchet Bomb. Hmm. I haven't really seen this picture before. It's pretty cool. Dark Leaves is a little bit of predicament, predicament because if he Ratchet Bombs for one, he kills his Soul Ring. He does kill the Mother Runes, but he kills his Soul Ring, ring as well. If he does two... Uh, two he kills Thalia, but he'll kill his own Revoker. So there isn't really a good number to, to use Bomb on, from my perspective. And Fishy does not have mana problems. It looks like he's fine here, there. I'm sure he's hoping to get a um, Sky Huzar so we can start going on the draw draw plan. Hmm. And Dark Leaves has no more land. So things are looking good for Fishy here.
Huh, he did it for one. Just gonna kill his soul ring. Very we odd. I mean, we already know he's mana screwed. He needs as much mana as he can get. And he kills his own soul ring. Seems like a potential mistake right there. Fishy has a ton of land. Alright, well this will help. Um, this will help Dark Leaves because he'll be able to block Thalia now. So Thalia cannot attack. I mean, he won't be able to attack after this turn. He can turn this into a 2 2, but he, until next turn, he cannot pump it up to a 3 3. Um, does Dark Leaves know that? This, this is a mistake as well. It has summoning sickness, so. Dark Leaves is just going to lose the factory. Yeah, I think this is another mistake here. You need to wait one turn. He's just, I think he's realizing it now. So, Fishigal had the Wasteland anyway. So, while that was a mistake, it was a, it still is a pretty big mistake. Um, you know, I don't think it was a game changer necessarily. Although, it did put Dark Leaves to no land. Yeah, this game's pretty much over. I don't see I don't see how Dark Leaves gets out of this one. All right, so Fishy pulled that one out, um, so we'll see. We'll move on to game three. All right, so it comes down to this game. Dark Leaps does get to play first, which is a, a pretty big advantage. Um, but he had to mulligan, so Fishy did as well. Looks like Dark Leaves is thinking about does he have to go down to five cards? He 
He does. Wow. This uh, this is gonna be problematic, probably for Dark Leaves, I would assume. But you know, we'll see. Stacks can pull a lot out pretty quickly. They both lead off of the Wastelands, and they swap them out, which says to me, Fishy's hoping that Dark Leaves, after having a mulligan to five, is in a lot of land problems. It's going to have land problems. Wow, he does not have land problems. He's a, maybe he top decked this, but uh, he could just be saving it because he was afraid of getting, of getting wasteland, which is smart. Fishy plays Revoker and uh, names Ratchet Bomb. Let's see if Dark Leaves has anything to follow up this low Sun Golem. You gotta assume Fishy has a ton of creatures that can handle. Ooh, he Alright, Metamorph. That's tough for Fishy. Only because now his two mana cost creatures cost four. The problem with the Roker is that it's not white or blue, so he cannot use it to tap and draw with the uh, Sky Hussar. Let's see if uh, Dark Leaps has another land. I'm sure he wants to be able to use this Rishid import to try to stop Fishy from getting four mana. Oh, he did have the Ratchet Bomb. Ooh, he does. So I would assume he has a stop here on upkeep and is going to tap a planes with the port. Yeah. So that slows down Fishy for another turn. Assuming Fishy still has lands. Because I... I mean, I guess he does, he has one mana cost... Uh, mana cost creatures that he could play. But it stops him with his two manas, which are the big ones that can... You know, Kataki kill off a lot of these, or um, uh, his white weenies that can exile artifacts. Oh man, this is this is damage right here. This could kill Fishy. I think it actually does. Oh wait a second. Huh? He's a path to exile. I guess I didn't see that in his sideboard. I don't think he main decks it. Uh oh. Uh, actually, that's not a good game because he wastelands a, a land. If Fishy has another one, he can play it.
If she has a land, you gotta assume he has a way to deal with this lodestone golem. Did Dark Leaps forget to put a counter on Ratchet Bomb? Yep, he does have an answer. That's a mistake if he did forget. I'm not quite sure if. What did he do? He activated it? Why did he do that? Hmm. I don't get that move. I'm not exactly sure what happened there. Must have been a mistake. He probably meant to put a charge counter on Ratchet Bomb and instead blew it up. So it looks like Fishy is sort of stabilized. Now he's uh, he killed all the Lowstone Golems. He can play out anything pretty much on his, in his hand. Here he goes. Wow. This could be a great comeback for Fishy Fellow. Okay, duplicate. Assume with the duplicate you remove the Kataki, yep. And he can also play a Wasteland and kill Soul, Cavern Souls, if he wants. Which I'm assuming he will do. Yep. Nice, but she has this guy who saw her. And another Kataki. Wow. Yep, Dark Leaves is in a lot of trouble now. Larian helps. Ooh, Worm Coil helps. Wow. That was probably the best thing that he could have had happen. Top deck a Worm Coil and have a Talarian. Talarian essentially negates Kataki. And um, Worm Coil is the one creature that's... Unless Fishy has another path to exile, which is going to be very hard for him to deal with. Warfare. Uh -oh. 
This sheet definitely needs another Relic Warder or a Path to Exile. He has so much artifact tape, most likely he will get it. But he's going to have to take a hit this turn from Wormquill, because I don't think he'll... We'll have to block it, but he'll have to sack one of these creatures to do so. And he already killed the worm quill. He's gonna have to. He would have to block with all three of them, which I don't think he'll want to do. Let's see what Dark Loops got. He top decked another metamorph. Or a worm coil, that would spell trouble for Fishy Fellow. Or even a Trinisphere would be a problem for Fishy Fellow. So let's see what Fishy does here. Yep, that's probably the best move. Huh. Top deck the Lodestone Golem. Fishy Fellow needs a way to kill this worm coil here pretty quickly. The Lodestone actually stops him from playing his... Uh, He's a three mana cost creature that can exile another creature with the name of it, but it looks like he's just gonna pump up Student of Warfare. And then I'll have to just chump block. Ooh, that's that's actually nice. Mother of runes. Oh, I guess he doesn't need to kill Talarian because he could you know be sacked with Kataki. Uh, it wouldn't matter. Uh, never mind. Even if he had killed Talarian, Crucible Worlds is out, so he could just get it back. So I guess if he can get Stone of Warfare up to seven, leveled up to seven, that would allow him to. Chump block worm coil. He would lose to of warfare, but he would also kill the worm coil. He's just now buying time so he can draw a sky hussar and try to draw one of his many artifact kills. Interesting. So fish, oh, okay. Because it's legendary, he doesn't mind. And this way he can pump up. Yeah, he'll be 
just at seven. All right, so now this, he can chump block some warfare in the worm coil. You know, he should think about Dark Leaves attacking with all three. He attacks with all three. You know, Sumer Warfare could kill the Lodestone Golem and live. Could block here. Or chump block here. Loses Thalia. And only take three damage. But I would probably... Yeah, it looks like Dark Leaves is going to. Yeah, I think that makes sense. This factor actually is pretty good because at this point, I'm not sure Fishy Fellow can afford to tap the Sky Hussar. I guess he can, depending if he has another creature in hand. But he's playing with fire. Yeah, he did not tap him. <laughs> Alright, so he had another Thalia anyway. I'm not sure I would have held back my the worm coil engine there. Granted, he would lose it attacking, but I think you just give Fishy a fellow a chance. Yeah, exactly. You actually give him a chance to draw one of his hate cards. Dark Leaves could block with Duplicant or block with Factory. With this Crucible out, losing Factory doesn't do too much. It's like a never ending blocker. That's what he's going to do. Well, now Fishy can definitely start drawing again. This has been a pretty crazy game. I think it um, favor now is definitely shifted back to Fishy Fellow. Even though Dark Leaf has 32 life, Fishy's just going to be able to draw a lot more. And um, probably means he'll draw a bunch of answers to whatever Dark Leaps can play. 
Wow, Dark Leaves didn't block at all. It took eight damage there. Another factory. Hmm. He is attacking. I would most fishy fellows think he's going to take this two damage. He'll probably move Thally over here because this factory can pump this one up, making it a 3 3. So, unless fishy's thinking I'm just going to take the two damage here, although I don't know why he would. He's taking the two damage and going to lose Thalia. I think that's a mistake. Though he will be able to get eight, nine, ten. Well, the question is does he want to draw? He's got to be a little careful here, because now, I don't think, unless he has LD, I don't think he can draw, because one, he'll be able to get three creatures. Hmm. So he must have LD or another creature here. path to exile.
open. So now he can attack with a student of warfare. Well, he's got to be careful. Yeah, actually, he cannot attack. Huh. Actually, now the Dark Leaves attacks with both of these factories. He'll have to block with one of these two. Unless there's a path to exile in Fishy Fellow's hand. This could be problematic. Because Dark Leaves turns these both into creatures, blocks one with Student Warfare, and then he's going to have to sack one of these two guys. And if he takes this guy, then the duplicate comes back into... Ooh. Oh, no, we can still... Okay. Yeah, Dark Leaves should turn these guys both into creatures, attack with both. He hasn't played a land yet, so even the one that dies, he can replay it. And he'll have... Fishy Fellow will have to block with one of these two. I don't know why he waits the beginning of combat there. I don't think that matters, but maybe I'm missing something. Fishy Fellow, alright, he does have a path to exile. Okay, I was going to say. Very nice. So he draws two. They both have to be careful of time because uh, it's a long game. Alright, so Fishy Fell is playing it safe, although I don't know why. I guess because he doesn't want to block with the benevolent bodyguard in the factory. Probably thinking he wants as many white creatures as he can to draw as much as he can to Sky Hussar. Oh, but that's gonna have to die. Oh, and a dismember. Yeah, Fishy Fellow right now needs to find a way to kill Steel Hell Kite. Obviously. There's only real hope here. 
doesn't look like he has it, because he's continuing. Well, that she might have it. Okay, Dark Leaps takes this, goes down to 12. This is, so Fishkill needs to have a way to kill Hellkite and then block the factory. Yeah, he needs to play a creature that can kill Hellkite. Oh, he's going to play his Sky Hussar. Because that's flying. Okay. Let's see, does he have lethal? Four, eight. Mm. He does not have lethal. But if he has another Sky Hussar, he does. Very nice. This way, he can attack and Dark Leaps has to block the factory and the student. Well, he doesn't have to, I guess, but he, he should. Although it won't really matter because he's got to start again on tap all the creatures. So he just did on this turn, and it's going to kill the factory, and that's good game. Very nice. Well, that was a, uh, a very interesting game. Um, I feel like there were some, some playing mistakes, but uh, overall, very entertaining watch, and congrats, Fishy, for pulling it out. Alrighty. Talk to everyone later.